Okay, 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 my bad on that. <clears throat> YouTube fam, what's up? Y'all tuned in tonight. We tuned in tonight, man. Y'all give me one second. I got to uh, text, uh, text baby back. I got to text baby back. She in the hospital. She, uh, she gave birth. She gave birth to my, uh, my third son. I think it like at 1209. He was six pounds, 12 and a half ounces. Fat face ass little boy. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all. I just bet you. Nah, I, 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 I ain't bullshitting about like her giving birth. I'm talking about like the little applause you came in with him. But uh, yeah, man, she gave birth to my third son at I think 1209. So I'm texting her back, making sure everything cool. And I would have been at the hospital with her, but, you know, like, due to all the COVID stuff that's going on, they got people, um, I think they say only one person coming out, like, within 24 hours. But shout out to the nurse. Shout out to you, nurse. Uh, she was able to pull some screens to where, uh, even though I was there today, her mom was able to, you know, sit in there with her and comfort her because... Give me one second. Because I ain't want to be selfish, you know, like, I'm just, oh, okay, I just want to be there for the uh, the most important part, which was sending him into this world. That was the most important part to me, because, like, uh, with my other two sons, I was there, you know, every step of the way. And um, for them coming into this world, you know, I was there every step of the way. So, you know, when it came down to him, I wanted to be the same thing, at least that. But, you know, like I say, due to COVID, they got so many uh, new rules, and they real strict with everything. They got people coming in there, like, one at a time with 24 hours, which I don't understand this shit. There's about 100 nurses up in there, motherfucker. But anyway, yeah, what's up, though, man? Y'all tuned in, man. Y'all tuned the fuck in to TYS TV. I be wanting to say... I've been hearing something about it's a two-minute mod before I can start cursing, so the video might not be monetized, but hey, it is what it is. I'm just here to talk to my YouTube fam. But what's up tonight, man? What we gonna talk about? What we gonna talk about? What we gonna talk a fucking about? It is. Let me pull some of these motherfucking notes up. Huh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Text up, cuz. My, my mama just texted me. I'm sorry about that, y'all. Hold on, give me one second. One second. And I would show y'all a picture. I would show y'all a picture, but I know y'all probably ain't gonna be able to see it from right here. So everything ain't cool. Me one second. Mm -mm. Call me pull over. I'm so fucking hey. I just jumped on that Crown Black. Damn, what my light is. I started drinking the Crown Black. Not heavily, like, on no alcoholic shit, but just, like, for, like, okay, this is my motherfucking new drink. I like this shit. This shit got me feeling good. About, mm, i say maybe, like, uh, a month and a half ago. I happened to go to a different liquor store today because, you know, I was out in a certain, uh, a certain area, and, you know, I asked for the Crown Black. They were like, well, we ain't got that. We got the uh, the Crown. Man, what my fucking bar did? I don't even know what a bar did. I think it's called Exo, though. Man. Bro, when I say this, she got me feeling sex as a motherfucker. Oh, God, on my mammy, this she got me feeling sick. Man, this she got me feeling beautiful. I feel sex as a motherfucker. It, this one of them drinks... Like you get you a little a, a little cool little shot glass or like a fuck it a wine glass like and just like pour a little bit up in there or whatever and just like just sip on it man ooh this shit got me feeling six as a month I just want to just stand outside and just with a silk shirt on and just just let my shit just blow to the side hard as a motherfucker while the 
<laughs> hey man, what y'all got going tonight, man? What's up, YouTube, man? Hey, I gotta start doing this shit more often. Don't get me wrong, man. As y'all can see, uh, when I first started to talk your shit, uh, TV, TYS TV, whatever you want to call it, uh, I had a um, a different setup. As y'all can see, it's a new setup. I ain't got the other camera rolling tonight because I don't like the. The last gen I had did when I had the camera view switching from side to side, that shit would fuck with my eyes. And my eyes are already bad. I, I think I got glaucoma or some shit, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, my eyes get the fuck, my eyes go out in the sun and shit. God damn, it bright as a motherfucker out here. Like, literally, like, I'm cutting the grass the other day. I'm on it. I swear to God, I cut the grass with shades on the other day. I swear to God on my kids. I cut the grass with shades on. Like, I'm out there cool as a mother. I couldn't grab that mother. Like, damn, what the fuck was that nigga? Like, he, he cool as a mother. Like, no. Nigga, the sun was fucking with me. Like, for real. Like, real talk. Like, these, like these lights. These camera lights. I got one on this side. I got one on the... Anyway, man, what's up, man? What's up, man? <laughs> but, like, I'm, I'm, I'm talking shit, but I'm dead serious. Why I call this shit Talking Shit TV? Because we're going to talk some shit. But, yeah, I'm just... Um, I'm talking a little bit tonight, man. You know, I got my boy downstairs, uh, my two oldest boys. They downstairs, so I'm on daddy duty, but I just put them to bed not too long ago. And I had to come up here to the lab. I was thinking about fucking with a beat, but I was like, nah, you know what? It's time to work. And, you know, that one I'm texting baby about, she telling me, well, baby, you can just go on, lay down, blah, blah, blah. You know, we'll be okay. I'm like, nah, I ain't laying down. Shit, you know, I'm going to keep an eye on y'all, and then I'm going to go to work. Shit, this is a job, you know. Don't get me wrong, this ain't my full time job, but this is my motherfucking job, you know what I'm mean? Like, it's time to go to work, you know what I mean? But yeah. This shit gas on my memory. Up eyes above. But yeah, man, um, we're gonna talk about that. Let me look at my notes. See, I done got so full of it. I done got so full of it. I done lost track of shit. How long, y'all? One more time. Let me send this text. Hold on. One more time. But like I said, baby texting me. I got to make sure they okay while I'm working, you know? I make some handsome little boys, man. <laughs> little black ass. I'm black as a motherfucker too, but he black as a motherfucker. <laughs> but shit, but shit. But yeah, you too. What's up, man? What y'all? What y'all got going tonight, man? What y'all got going tonight? Man, that drink got me feeling good. Feeling great. <laughs> Let me see some. Let me put these motherfucking notes. So what we gonna talk about? What we gonna talk about? What we gonna talk about? Oh. Man, yeah, I, I got to talk about Zilla for a minute. Zilla, Zilla I got to talk about the motherfucking landlord. Landlord in it. I fuck with Zilla, bro. Bro, Zilla, like, like, looking back at it, like, 2012 era, 2011 era. Bro, I think Zilla, Zilla was, like, one of my favorite. Nah, fuck that. Zilla, Zilla was my favorite Memphis artist, bro. On oh, God. Like, like, and I, I end up, uh... Cause I ain't gonna lie, I jumped on the on the on the uh, the Apple Music bandwagon kind of late, and I was just pulling up shit. So I just pulled up Zilla, you know, like some of his old shit. Bro, Zilla's supposed to be bigger than what the fuck he is right now, bro. Like Zilla, like in the in in the city, which is Memphis, Zilla ain't even talked about no more. Zilla's supposed to be. Big, I don't know what the fuck was going on within the camp when it come down to uh, CMG or whatever, but Ziz, it was supposed to be bigger than what he is, bro. Because, like, dude, Zilla was hard on God. Zilla, if you watching this job right now, if you fuck around and stumble across right now, nigga, I want to get you on the podcast. I want to, like, like, I want to talk to you, Zilla. Like, real talk. I want to talk to you. Because I feel like this question that I'm asking, a lot of motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, probably want to know the same thing. Like, damn, what the fuck happened to Zilla? Because, like, it's like you just... 
I ain't gonna sit up there and talk like Zilla, you know what I'm saying, was on no shit like he just, like he would play it out in that because like the, when, when the social media, like, I, I mean, social media been out, don't get me wrong. But when, you know, like the shit started getting heavy, social media started getting heavy, heavy, like around 20, I say 2017, 2018. And it seemed like this with social media, you know what I'm saying, like the, the the Memphis scene, the Memphis scene, the social media, this shit just started getting big, bro. Like the waves started getting big. Like when Black Youngster came into the picture, it's like their waves just started getting real big. And the last time I fucking seen Zedzilla when he was affiliated with CMG was uh when he was in that Black that Black Youngster video that uh that CMG I think that's the name of the song. Where he was like CMG, I care for this shit. You know what I'm saying? They jumped there. That was the last time niggas seen Zilla. What the fuck happened to Zilla? And I ain't trying to be funny. I ain't saying that in no way like, man, damn, Zilla, he ain't popping no more. Nah, I'm saying like, what the fuck happened to Zilla? Because it seemed like Zilla just faded away. It don't, you know, like these days, how we got the fast food, uh, the fast food music era, and it seemed like when the artists come out, they drop a song, and it might be popping, and it might be popping for like a month, month and a half, and that thing, you know, they just gone. It wasn't like that with Zilla. It seemed like Zilla was holding shit down and he was around for a certain amount of time. And then just, pew, you already heard from Zilla. He can't be CMG no more because you ain't seeing him in, in the entourage no more. You ain't seeing him in the videos no more. Like, what the fuck is Zilla? Zilla, if you run across the job, I want to bring you on the podcast, for real. Real motherfucker talk. Because, like, it's some questions need to be asked. Like, mm, no cap, for real. Like, for real, for real. Hello, y'all. Let me send this text because I got to make sure everything good. I'm going to make sure everything good. Hold on. Give me one second. Give me one second, one second, one second, one second. One second, y'all. But yeah, man, you know, like shit. I want to talk to Zilla, man. You know, Zilla, I want to ask you some questions. Got some shit to ask you, Zilla, for real, for real, for real. But yeah, let's uh, let's move on. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. My goddamn laptop is dead. I was supposed to have the motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie, I was gonna try to come on the motherfucker looking cool and shit with the laptop and shit like right there and shit now. Nah, but the whole dead as a dope now. Nah. And I ain't got my stencil cord. And I'm too high to go find my stencil cord. So I ain't, I ain't got time for this shit right now. Not right now. Nope, nope, nope. Not right now. You dig? But yeah, uh. And I started to go live. I mean, fuck Facebook. Facebook, man. <laughs> Facebook, bro. You bitch be, man, Mark. I like. I really want to get a one on one with your ass. Like, I really want to catch a fade with you, G. Like, I ain't gonna like. You made your shit too strict for, like, for no reason that day. Like, your shit just too strict, G. You bitch, you blocked me for everything. I'm talking about, bro. I was out of Facebook jail one motherfucking day, and my shit got blocked again for no reason. Then you motherfucker block my shit on top of blocking my shit. Y'all come back. Oh, our mistake. It does go against uh it doesn't go against uh uh the guidelines. Okay, why the fuck my shit still block? Now I ain't gonna lie to you, when they had blocked my shit the last time, I had, you know, you can send Facebook a little personal message. I was like, damn, did these motherfuckers do that because I had sent that message? I think they really did that because I sent that message, like for real, on God. Like Oh God, like, and motherfuckers be wondering, damn, because you know, like, I was doing the skits, and I'm gonna start back up, I'm gonna crack back up, I just gotta kind of clean it up a little bit, like, for the captions. That's why I kind of slacked up on the skits, man, because when it came down to my captions, they started getting to the point where Facebook was saying something to me about my captions. Like, you know, I would, I, 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 I did the, uh, when a Memphis nigga go to hell, or like like all my cash was pretty much was when a Memphis nigga, when a Memphis nigga, when a Memphis nigga, you know like so I'm, I'm like I don't know what they were doing, you know like saying it because I was saying nigga or whatever the case may be. I don't fucking know. I don't 
fuck you, Facebook. Mark Zuckerberg, um, God, I kiss the fade with your ass. You be bitching, G. Like, real talk, you be really bitching. Like, I don't know what the fuck wrong with you making your shit that strict like you bullshitting. If I make my shit like, fuck it, just say what the fuck y'all want to say. Just don't get on that motherfucker disrespecting nobody, but say what the fuck you want to say. I ain't finna stop shit. I ain't got time for this shit, you know what I'm saying? Hey, T-Bow, what's up? Man, these folks, man, ain't talking real bad on Facebook. They saying nigga, bitches, and hoes, and suck dick. I don't care nothing about that. Let them folks talk they shit. Shit. Let them folks talk. God damn it. That time for that silly ass shit, man. Mark, you ain't got two goddamn streaks. You don't know what you got going on for real. Hold on, man. Like I said, y'all, like my son, he he just landed today, so you know, like it's a lot of texts coming through. So give me one second. I'm gonna text my mama, you know how the mama be. Cause like I say, like, you know, like uh can't nobody come see him due to the COVID shit. It, you know, COVID slowed everything down. My bad about this, y'all. My bad about that, y'all. My bad about that. I'm trying to just make sure everything ain't good with them. You know, you know how this shit go, man. You know, like, I'm on daddy duties, like, from down to the hospital to here. I'm just on daddy duties. But, yeah, man, like I was saying earlier, Zilla, Zilla, I want to talk to you, man. Come to the podcast, Zilla. Come to Talk Your Shit TV, Zilla. I want you to come talk your shit. Like, for real, for real. Like, for real. Because when they come down to these rappers, man, these rappers with these big names and shit, like these rappers don't be wanting to co-sign nobody. Especially, like, when they... When they come down, man, to the rappers who were popping, when I was coming up, that shit old with you. Like when it like like all oh, y'all that that shit old like, like like when I like y'all got a legendary fan base. Like don't get me wrong, I'm still a fan, but man, like 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 these young niggas and these little female D day, they like something totally different. They don't like the same thing we like. Cause like really like you know like by me being a producer and messing with music, um, I can really gravitate to anything, especially like if you bumping. I can gravitate to anything, so like when the whatever, that's really a Memphis style anyway. They do, 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 do. When nigga be rapping like that, like the me, like they call it the me, rapping like Migos. No, that's Memphis shit. And I ain't taking that from the Migo. Now the Migo, they put light on the shit, but I ain't taking that from the Migo. But that's some Memphis shit. I ain't no, you know, I'm just keeping it one hundred. Like the first motherfucker out here doing that, goddamn it, was Scarecrow, which is Lord Evans, R.P. the Lord Evans. That's the first motherfucker I heard doing that. When it came down to that, you know, rapping like that, you know, that's some, that's really some Memphis shit. Just like, like DJ Sound, he brought me out, man. And I remember like, well, DJ Sound, the player one, and when they brought me out, they were using them same 808s that pretty much we use today. Like type shit, just to really be honest, like, you know, uh, back then, you know, like, well, back in the day, like early 90s type shit, you know, when the phrase you click, if you, if you a fan of DJ, DJ Sound and you know who DJ Sound is, like, they competition was pretty much 3-6, you know, type shit or whatever. But, uh, yeah, man, like, when they come down to uh, these big name rappers and shit, man, it's so easy to get on these days. <sighs> and the only thing you need is a cosign from the big name rapper. Now, just say, like, on Tebow, on Tebow right now. And... I was a big name rapper, like, you know what I'm saying? But, like, motherfucker know who Tebow is. Oh, this Tebow's super producer, you know what I'm saying? Been rapping since such and such, like, he a big name producer. And, damn, I hate when I hit the blunt and weed come out the motherfucker. And, um, the only thing I got to do, bro, is these days, bro, the only thing a big rapper have to do, bro, is jump on Instagram and co-sign your shit. Like, tell me online. Now, just say, like, I'm Tebow right now. 
But I got a big nine. I'm super producer Tebow. I'm big rapper Tebow, legendary rapper Tebow. The only thing I got to do is get on Instagram and just tag you and just, because that's all they really be doing. The, the, like, like, like these rap niggas, when they be signing these artists and shit, that's all the fuck they be doing. Like, come on, bro. The internet tactics, they a motherfucker, man. Like, for real. Like, no cap. The internet tactics, they a motherfucker. Like, the only thing you got to do, if I'm a big name rapper, I'm finna make some shit up. Hey, bro, like, I'm finna go and get uh, 500,000 and shit, you know, like, we finna record, like, you know what I'm saying? You getting signed or whatever. And we record this shit. This shit gonna make you look good. And then, like, Little such and such, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm finna, I'm, 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 I'm finna sign little such and such. And, you know, like, once they see me putting out all this money and woo woo and saying I'm signing you, goddammit, and I'm putting the such and such chain around your neck, they finna come looking for you. That's all the fuck it takes is a cosign. Now, you still gotta do your own work. Don't get me wrong. You still gotta build your fan base. I ain't saying like a mother, I ain't gotta do nothing. Don't get me wrong. But, like, the only thing it takes, bruh, is a cosign. That's all it takes. Is a cosign from a big name. Once you get that cosign, bro, that's it. That's that's it. Like you don't need nothing but the cosign. Nothing else. Now you take that cosign, goddamn it, you run with that shit. That's what you supposed to do. You supposed to take that cosign and run with this shit. Now you don't take the cosign, you bullshit out here, you playing and all this shit there. Because the internet move on fast. There's one thing about the internet. There's one thing about you motherfuckers. You motherfuckers will move on. If you not dropping consistent content, and if you out here bullshitting, think you can take breaks and all, man, these folks fuck with me. No. And I learned that from them comedy skits. When I was doing the comedy skits real heavy, bruh, if I don't do no, like, like, you motherfuckers be so greedy, bruh, like a nigga had to, <laughs> nigga had to drop everyday type shit. If I want dropping every day, dropping no content every day, and I miss nigga, I swear to God, a week, them folks moving the fuck on. Because one thing about going viral, I remember the first time I went viral. The first time I went viral was back in 2014. Damn, I'm gonna let my dope burn. Shit. Let me put this shit up. The first time I went viral, 2014. And the first time I ever went viral, bro, the shit was amazing. Like, really, like, like if you, uh, you know, they use the word clout chasing or, or, or whatever, you want them type of niggas, bro, this shit is like a drug. Like, for real, like, like, like being popular, it's one thing being popular, but it's another thing being popular on social media. Bro, the first time I ever went viral, bro. And the reactions I got and just the the attention that I got, bro, like when it came down, man, the first time I went viral, bro, like around that time, I got so much pussy. <laughs> bro, I got so much. On to my bro, like, I was fucking hold, bro. Them hoes coming like they was on the flick or something. I ain't gonna lie to you. Baby, if you see this, I'm sorry. I'm, like, I, I, I apologize, but I gotta talk some shit on right now. I ain't gonna lie to you. When it like when I first went fucking viral, bro. I was like, like, like I'm getting hit. I'm like, damn, I ain't. I ain't gonna lie, I wanted to cover a couple of them bitches. You hear me? I ain't. Them bitch. Bro, when I first started going viral, bro, I was coming across females' food that's supposed to have been on flicks, porns, on God. They was coming dead exclusive type shit. And I can see how this shit can be a drug because you getting all the attention, everybody fucking with you. They motivate you, bro, keep doing what you doing. I see you. The niggas, you know what I'm saying, with the blue check mark, bro, I see you, bro. Nigga, the minute you take a break, that shit over with. Your shit go slack up. You go see it slacking up. Now, what it seemed like when I first went viral, it seemed like it just really wasn't like that. But now, if you take a break, damn, bro, you ain't dropping no more video. I was like, I'm finna unfollow your ass. Damn. Damn it. 
God damn. Chill out. Damn, give me some time. Jim trying to let this motherfucker here, you know what I'm saying? Run on I'm trying to let numbers run up on this joint here. Chill out, damn. You cool? For real. Don't folks don't be bitching. They be in my inbox every day, bro. Every fucking day. For real. They be in my inbox every day. Awesome. Hey, bro, so you ain't doing what I want you to retire? Like, nah, I mean, I be trying to think about me. I be trying to do so much, bro. I be trying to, I be trying to, I want to, <sighs> nigga, I want to shoot movies. Then I might want to go, I, I get that producer mode, Tebow. Then I might, you know what I'm saying, want to do this, What might want to do that. I don't fucking, I don't know what I want to do. Just let me work. Just let me do me. Might want to be a comedian, you know what I'm saying? Like, anybody who know me personally know, goddamn, I'm just capturing, capturing uh, my moments of, um, how can I put it? My moments of having a sense of humor on camera. That's, I mean, that's pretty much it. Anybody who know me personally know, goddamn, I'm a silly ass nigga. Uh, I play too much, as, as some may say, or whatever. But, um, I mean, it's just me, you know? I don't love my fucking train. I don't know. I don't know what I was talking about. I don't love my train of thought. Come on, y'all. Don't 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 get on the motherfucker bash me though, y'all. Don't get on the motherfucker bash me. Let me see something. I gotta pull my nose back up. I, <laughs> I gotta pull my nose up. Hold up, hold up. Hold up, wait a minute. She texts me, I forget. Hold on, give me a second. Damn, I'm high. See, that was me texting. See, see, I'm gonna throw it out too, man. So, I'm probably finna end this motherfucker, man, because I ain't gonna lie. She told me to go, it, 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 it's like the sleeping is kicking in there type shit. You see what I'm saying? Like, I was sleeping, bruh. Like I said, I've been there since six this morning. Then I'd have been smoking. Then on top of that, now I'm putting alcohol on top. Bro, I'm tired as a motherfucker. Right? I'm tired as a motherfucker right now. I ain't gonna lie to you. And I had the nerve to try to come on this motherfucker and freestyle. All right, bro. <sighs> then I gotta get up in the morning, call my barber, and try to schedule. I'm just all fucked up right now. I'm just all fucked. Y'all ever had had y'all? You ever been with a barber so long, like where you don't get your haircut when you want to? You want to fight him type shit on God, like 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 on some real type. Like I ain't talking about play fight. Like bro, I want to jack with you, bro. Like I want to call you to the street, bro. We take our shirt off, bro, and catch the fade type shit, like for real on God, like. Cause I supposed to have got my haircut today, but my barber he was bullshitting and. Oh, bro, you ain't hit me back to confirm an appointment. Bro, I really want to th throw them hoes with your ass, bro. I ain't gonna let... Uh, I, 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 let me move on. Man, look, y'all make sure I hit that bell, like, subscribe. I got some more content coming. Uh, I got some interviews coming. I just want to come on this job. I just want to keep everything updated. I want to just keep... At least, man, you know what I'm saying, put something on, on here. You see what I'm saying? Because I be bullish and I know I be playing. And, you know... Uh, I sit back and look at myself like, God damn, bro, you're sleeping on yourself. You're playing, you're bushing. Stop playing. My big dumb man be want to play. But, um, I'm finna, uh, my ain't why I come on this hoe, bro. I should have just took my head to sleep. But, hey, TYATV, hit that bell, like, subscribe, comment. I'll see y'all probably tomorrow. My little fat-ass little brother, he supposed to have came over here. He was talking about he wanted to come over here or whatever and get on that motherfucker, get on my ass about whatever because he know that we don't, we get along, but, like, when it come down to speaking opinions, like, on certain shit, we had each other throw. You think, you you would probably think I want to fight that bitch for real. But, uh, yeah, um, uh, yeah, yep. I feel sex as a motherfucker right now.